Dorothy, my love. Dorothy! Where are we going, Dorothy? Where are we going? We're off and running again. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to D Diets. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. First time here? Give me a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Blah, 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 blah. You know, if you're a content creator, you're constantly saying that. Ooh, my God. Is anybody really that new to YouTube that they don't know enough to say, hey, I like this person. Let me subscribe to their channel. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm on my way to my mother's. I'm taking her to the Dollar General because she wants to go there. And I said, fine, very good. I'll pick you up. Prior to getting in this car, I listened to about three lectures on plant-based eating. Yes, I did. See, guys, when you are, I am 62 years old. We all know this. Uh, even at 62 years old, if you don't want to think you want to give yourself a reminder of what it is that you got yourself into and how you're trying to get out of it, you do. With that five pound weight gain, I wasn't playing. I was not playing. I was the one buying the crackers. I was the one buying the oyster crackers. I was the one buying the bag of pretzels. That was me. Nobody else was buying it. You know, put it in a cart and said, oh, what are you buying this stuff for? So I can gouge on it, which I did, <laughs> which I did. Because if you thought one cracker was what put five pounds on me, let's be real, fat people. If you're out there, you know what I'm talking about. My fabulous fat friends, you know this. It wouldn't be just one cracker. Maybe the whole sleeve, maybe the whole box. I know, I had the light. I'm an idiot, what can I say? But it's true. You know, you don't just have one pretzel and think, wow, I'm going to gain five pounds. No, no. You would have a bag of pretzels and you do that every single night. Yeah. So processed foods. Again, I had to go back and I had to listen to the lecture of Dr. McDougall. Yes, I did. I listened to a, a lecture of Dr. Um, Oh, I Edelston, I listen to a lecture. All doctors, guys. I don't listen to Willy Nellies. I listen to doctors. And it had to refresh my brain to say, you know what, Denise? Even though you're doing this for nine months, don't make a difference. You need support. And you're going to get the support from the doctors to re-listen and to re-hear what they had to say. We're pulling into my mother's development in just a second. I'll turn it. I'll let you see it. Okay, so we're heading to Mother's right this second. And let's see Mother, where are you? Let's see my mommy. Let's go to Mommy's house. Let's go to Mommy's house. Mommy's all the way down at the end. Yes, she is. Mommy is all the way down at the end. Here's Mommy. Here's mommy's no not that big thing right over here this thing right here is mommy's house she got the front door open that only means one thing she's just gonna come right out here she comes here she comes here's my mother here's my beautiful mother I want you to know everybody my mother is 81 years old she don't look 81 years old uh, she don't act like she's 81 years old no no she kept herself in good shape she really did. Oh, here she comes now. Here she comes now, my beautiful mother. You'll all get a chance to meet her now. She'll say my hair's blown around all over the place. Watch, watch. I'll just put the camera on me for oh, just Dorothy a moment. Looks clean. Oh, Dorothy is clean. Isn't she nice and clean? Yes, she is. I'm taking a video right now, but you can get your hair straightened out oh. if you like, because I know <laughs> until I turn this camera on my mother. Wait a minute. Yeah. Just wait a minute. Wait because, a second. Because uh, she looks fabulous. She looks nope. fabulous. Uh, just much better. Here's mother. This is my mother, well, Angelina. Hello, all. I'm hoping you have a nice day because I think we're going to have a nice day today. We're gonna is go. it so windy or what is it it's doing? It's terrible. So um, my hair's it's like a off. gale. <laughs> terrible today, but yeah. that's okay. We'll deal with that. Better than snow. Oh, my God. The snow we had this year. We had so terrible. much snow. Was hard. It cost me a fortune to have somebody come and shovel out my driveway and my walkway. But that's okay. How much did it really cost you to have your sho sho shoveled out for the whole well, winter? Well, because I got a break on it, uh, $200. Well, that was a damn so good that price. Was, I think it's yeah, a good price. I'm sorry. Price, you know, I couldn't do it. That's the damn sure. My I'm back had to do, do it. it. Well, what can I tell you? Better get somebody to do it for you. When I get old. <laughs> 
Oh, you're going on somebody's lawn. Well, that's just too bad now. That's gravel over there. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well, we're off to spend We're off money. to the Dollar General. Yep. I was telling my audience that's where we were going, we and were I was going always... down there, yes. Do you have your seat belt on? Oh. You better put a seat belt on. I don't even like realize what you're Plus, doing. Plus, I'm driving the car. I forget about the seatbelt when Hold I am a passenger. Purse. Hold your purse. Okay. Oh, okay. my gracious. Okay. Talk to your audience. Well, no. I was telling my audience prior to this how I had to re-listen to my Dr. McDougal. Oh, right. And because anybody that's on any kind of program or plan, typically you have to refresh yourself. You know, you can get off track very, very easily. Mm -hmm if you don't listen to those doctors mm -hmm. and because i had that extra five pound weight gain and it's because of my own fault it's not any fault of anybody else's it was me that was eating processed foods which i know i'm not supposed to have um but when i get stressed okay, you know well, it happens okay. i see the bus um it happens. It happens to all of us. Well, that's what I said. So you don't beat yourself up. You just forget about it. You enjoyed it at that time you had it. Well, and you enjoyed it. No, food. what I think I should have done was verbalize what I was feeling versus eating that emotion down like I'd been doing my whole entire life. Because prior to this video, I had made another video where I was showing some of the new clothes that I had purchased. And... Um, I said that, well, now where are, we, where are we going with this in my head? I'm just saying because prior to, oh yeah, You're I was showing pictures of myself when I was very, very much overweight. Yes. And I was. Yes, you were. And I said to myself, this is a pattern that I've been doing a very long time and it's a pattern I'm used to doing. And I have to break that habit. You break the pattern. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy. Well, you know, you were never always thin. You had a weight issue as well. When I was pregnant, I did with you. How many pounds were you up to? Oh my God, I was 220 and I'm 154 now. Right. Yeah. Now, how do you stay slim and trim? I just watch what I eat. Yeah. I discipline myself. Mm-hmm. And that's all I can do. You like your chocolate, my Love honest. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never pass up chocolate. That's she will never pass up the chocolate. Favorite. But you're a big vegetable, yes, beans, I, yes, potato yes, eater. I kind of eat like my daughter with the vegetables, but I do incorporate a hamburger right. and a piece of meat twice right. a week. I will do that. And I'll have tuna salad and whatever I feel like having, but I do watch it. Mm -hmm. You do watch your intake of, yes. uh, you do watch your intake of processed foods. Oh yeah, I don't buy frozen. No, you frozen don't. Frozen foods at all. The only thing is vegetables. That's the only thing I. Yeah, like well, I buy the frozen food. vegetables never, too. It's easy. No, no. Healthy eating is the best. It really is. It's the best, and it's easy. It's so easy. It's People don't realize easy. how simple this way of yeah. eating really right. is. Yeah. You feel a lot better, and. And really you don't do fast good. food. I don't do fast food. No, no, we don't do. I I haven't done fast mm -hmm. food in oh my god, so I, it's got to be over twenty yeah, years, no, easily over food. twenty or thirty years at this if point. If I did, it would be like a McDonald's fish burger and a coffee. I would do that. But you don't do that all the time. No, like I you do that maybe once every three, four months. I haven't done it in over a year, Denise. Yeah, so that's I what I'm saying. Done it over a year, so yeah. I watch myself. You have to. You have to. This is how you look good at 80. 80 how, would you like to tell them, the audience no. how old you are? Oh, I don't care. Maybe one. And I could say, thank God. God yes. bless me. And uh, that that's marvelous? It. It's marvelous. Thank you, daughter. Now, well, you are. I mean, come on. You're 81 years old. You're so, full of piss and vinegar at 81. You really are. It's not like you're uh, an old woman sitting in a chair rocking back and forth. No, I'm not. Do you think it's all in the head? Your yes. youth is in your head. Put a smile on your face and be happy no matter what. Even if you feel depressed, you get that smile back on your face and laugh it off. That's all I could say. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. And that's all I could say. Just put a smile on your face. Just laugh it off. And, and when she keeps saying put a smile on your face, you know what I'm thinking. Put a smile on your face all the time. They want to take your place. The backstab is that song. <laughs> Listen, 
No, it's true. And do, I mean, and do what makes you happy. Don't live for anybody else. No, you can't. Nobody. Just make yourself happy. And, you can't. Uh, you can't. You listen to others. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. If you have a little bit of a good input, you give it to them. Right. If not, be quiet. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. And this, and I feel this way. If you're asking for someone's opinion. You give your honest opinion. I do. But if you're I not do. asked your yeah. opinion, you don't give it. No. No. I don't give it. I've done that. Oh but my. I don't do that anymore. No, not at all. Because it can come back on us. That's, that's why. Right. And people are going to do what they want to do. But Absolutely. that's their choice. Absolutely. You do what you want to do. Absolutely. But make good choices. Well, it doesn't. Let's uh, be real. What? You learn by the choices oh, you make. You do learn. Yep. Do learn. Absolutely. You know, nothing's going to be peaches and cream 24 hours no, a day. No. Be yourself. Don't and be laughter problem. is no. the best medicine, too. The best medicine, that's what I said. And uh, do not be a follow up. You see things aren't right? No, 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 no. Back off. Back and don't away. get involved in the drama. That's right. Don't get involved, don't in, the get involved in the drama. And I know these things seem. These, things sound so superficial to a lot of people but yeah. if you're someone that has an addictive personality like mine yeah. you want to stay away from drama you don't want to have any you don't more want to hear negativity yes that's what you do not want to hear is negativity no i don't want to hear that's it. it i don't want to hear it it's a pain in the neck i don't how want many to hear times it. you say oh mom look at my hair I go, what's wrong with it you look beautiful <laughs> well, what do you mean, my, my hair? No, it, you used to look at my hair, Mama. I it's somewhat, falling out. That's okay. You, you know, still look beautiful. And it's not because of what I'm eating, guys. This has been a thin hair my entire life. Yeah. My entire life. Yes, it has you been. Know? Yeah. Some people will say, well, you don't need enough or you're not eating enough. Uh, I'm eating so many nutrients. It can make anybody's hair stand on end. No, yeah. it's hereditary, really. Because Grandma had the... Uh, Grandma. Yes. The very thinning hair. Yeah, Grandma Tessie did. Yes, yeah, she did. She did. Yeah. My sister got the very thick hair. Very thick. Very thick. But, uh, who oh knows? She's in the air right now, my sister. She's flying back. She bought a house in Florida. I'm very excited for her. Another place for us to go visit. Yeah. And we'll be visiting. And we will be visiting. And maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be looking to buy a place. Like maybe she'll be looking to go buy a place then. Not me. Maybe. It's a maybe. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I really, I have to say, I do like the Four Seasons. I like them. Yeah. And I don't like heat, like humid heat. I really don't like that either. So we'll, we'll wait and see. That's... She can go. Yeah. She can move down there if she wants. I think it's a nice place to get away for like the winter. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Well, but once the summer hits here, it's nice to spring, the fall. The winters can be tough, but I have to say, this was the first winter that was really hard because it hasn't been like that in years. In years. Anyway, I just want to have a little chit chat with you and my mother. And mother, you may say goodbye to the audience. Well, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed my talk because I don't even know what I'm rattling off. Sometimes. With age comes wisdom, and you gave yes, your I wisdom. Only speak from the heart. That's all I can do. Whether you like it, you don't like it, it comes from the heart. That's all I can say. That's correct. And be nice to people. It pays just to be nice. Mm. Even though you don't like them, put a smile on your face. That's right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, my friends, we heard the wisdom of my mother. And now I'm going to be going down shopping with her. And until I see you the next time, and you know I will, have a great day. Be kind to each other. The heart is all that's ever going to matter, and I know I will see you all so soon. Mwah! Take it easy, my friends.